The XDJ R1 is now compatible with Traktor. All you need to do is download our official TSI file and then import that into Traktor. To download the TSI file, go to pioneerdj.com forward slash support. Scroll down to the R1 and click on software download. In there you'll see the settings file for Traktor Pro 2. Click on that to download it, scroll down, agree to the terms and conditions, and then choose either Windows or Mac. Once that's downloaded, open up Traktor, go to Preferences, and then hit Import. Click on the TSI file and open that. Make sure everything on this window that pops up is ticked, including audio device settings. Click OK, and the mapping is now set. The next thing you need to do is change some settings on the R1 itself. On both decks, you need to hit MIDI. You'll then say MIDI control deck A and MIDI control deck B. Then make sure that your inputs on each channel in the mixer are set to deck 1 and deck 2. In Traktor, hit audio setup and make sure the audio device is set as XDJ R1. And make sure mixing mode on output routing is set to internal. Once you've done that, the R1 is good to control both Traktor and the audio is going to be routed correctly through the mixer on the R1. Some features on the R1 aren't compatible when using Traktor. This includes a 4-beat sampler found on each deck, so that function won't actually be accessible when using the TSI. Some controls also won't actually be relevant to the controls inside Traktor. They can instead be assigned to different things, so you can find a full list of what the controls do on pioneerdj.com forward slash support. With our official TSI file, you can expand the ways that you can use your R1 and in future updates you'll even be able to use our wireless control software Remotebox.